Hey guys, it's Drummond. So today's video is about my high school crushes. But before I reveal those to you and embarrass myself, I want to talk a little bit about what it was like being gay and in the closet in high school. I believe it's gotten a lot better since I was in high school because I've been hearing and seeing a lot more people coming out at younger ages, which I think is amazing. Hopefully one day we'll get to a point where we don't actually have to come out. It's just like, hey mom, this is my boyfriend, or hey mom, this is my girlfriend. And it's not looked upon as weird or out of the norm. So when I was in high school, I was in show choir, I was in theater, which is kind of the area where you would think that someone would be a little bit more comfortable being gay. But because our community was so small and my graduating class was so small, my theater class actually consisted of guys from like the football team and soccer team. And it was just a really small school, so it wasn't like theater was kind of like the safe haven for the gay kids in school. There was actually very few people in my high school that came out. There was a few kids in my show choir that were out and proud. I actually had one of the football players on our football team come out with his boyfriend who was actually in show choir with us, which was amazing to see. As inspiring as that was, it still scared me to death to come out just because I'd heard what other people said about them and I heard what my family said about gay people, so it was still very scary to me. One thing that's actually happened since I've come out is I've been able to talk to a lot of the people that I kind of looked up to or had crushes on and it's kind of crazy how we're all going through our own separate battles through high school and college and in life and it's kind of nice to open up about my life on YouTube and throughout my other social medias and have other people that I once looked up to come over to me and talk to me about how they look up to me or they think it's amazing that I'm putting myself out there and it's kind of weird to hear about their struggles so that's one thing I kind of like to point out just because I feel like a lot of us look at other people's lives and we wish that we had what they had so you really just have to be aware that just because someone's life appears perfect doesn't mean they're anywhere close to that. So the best thing is just to focus really hard on making your life the best life that you can live because that's really the only life that you can live. So I guess we can get started on some of my crushes. Back in high school, like I said, we were kind of mixed in with everyone else. It wasn't like show choir kids, sports, cheerleaders. We were all kind of together. A lot of my show choir partners were actually cheerleaders and a lot of the cheerleaders brought their boyfriends who were on the football team into show choir because the more guys we had in our show choir, the more girls we could have in our show choir. So a lot of them brought their boyfriends in and I most definitely had crushes on a lot of them. Uh, there was actually three football players that were in my show choir with me. Their names were Dustin, Nathan, and Justin and I had the biggest crushes on them, mainly because they were extremely nice guys and I found them extremely good looking. And this is extremely awkward. I'm actually sweating a little bit talking about it because I'm just thinking of what their responses would be if they saw this video. <laughs> oh, I think I'm actually getting a little bit red. But I had crushes on them just because I've always been more attracted to kind of the more masculine type guys so these guys fit that masculine build and it was awesome because I got to spend a lot of time with them on trips some of them were actually in theater with me as well so it was kind of nice getting to know them and honestly through high school I didn't have a lot of guy friends just because I was secretly gay and it was hard for me to make guy friends because I couldn't really relate to them on a lot of levels and a lot of them talked about doing stuff with females which made me uncomfortable but these guys were actually awesome because they talked to me about stuff that mattered in the group so they were actually people that I could get used to and talk about things other than what straight guys talk about so those three guys were most definitely some of the people that I had crushes on unfortunately Justin is no longer with us um, he passed away not too long ago but Dustin and Nathan are still around and I believe they are both actually in committed marriages and Dustin has kids which is awesome he's probably the one person that I've stayed closest in contact with the other ones I've just kind of seen around um, since I moved back to the area which is kind of weird because 
everyone's changed so much. Another person I had a crush on in high school was Chris, and Chris actually ended up coming out of the closet as well. He was also in show choir. I don't believe he did anything in theater with me, uh, but he came out after he graduated high school. He was the year in front of me in graduating, would have been the same year as me had I not been held back when I transferred schools and everything when I was younger. But I had a crush on him, mainly just because I kind of knew he was gay in high school and there was another kid in our show choir named Tommy who was actually a lot more out and people loved him and people loved Chris and I was just kind of the shy one and he was a lot more outgoing and I just kind of had a crush on him and it's weird because I actually hung out with him since I've come back and seen him several times. It's just kind of awkward because I feel like since I've come out, my preferences have changed a lot. Now that I'm out and kind of comfortable with who I am, I don't really see him as someone that I could end up dating. I still think he's a great guy, he's just not really my type, I guess. Someone else I had a crush on was actually this guy that I'd met through a group of friends my freshman year. I was very shy, so the fact that this group of friends kind of like pulled me in under their wings uh, was really nice. but. This guy named Dennis was amazing. He was extremely friendly and he had a really huge family and I actually became friends with his sister Sarah just because I wanted to be closer to him which is kind of bad. I feel like as a gay kid in high school that's not out yet, you kind of do this stuff just because you want to be close to the person but you most definitely do not want to out yourself to them so you become friends with all the female friends or the people around them just so you can spend time with them and I actually ran into him not too long ago and he seems to be doing really well he's in a marriage and has several kids it's kind of weird looking back on that because I only really got to know him for that year and through that group of friends he was a senior the year I came into high school so he graduated pretty quickly Another person in high school that I kind of had a crush on and actually shared that crush with my sister because she also was extremely crushing hard on him and unfortunately my mom really messed that one up because one day my sister let my mom know that she thought he was cute and he was walking by our car. She was there to pick us up after school to take us somewhere and he was walking by our car and my mom actually grabbed him and she's like, quick kids, put him in the trunk. And ever since that moment, everyone knew about it and we were looked at as the weird kids with the weird mom that was trying to put him in the trunk and it was just a hot mess. But his name was Will. I was actually in class with his brother and Will was the year before me so he graduated the same year Chris did. It's just really weird looking back on things and I guess I'm making this video because my friends and I were kind of talking about like high school crushes the other day and I was just like, wow, I've never really been able to share my high school crushes with people because when I was in high school, I pretended to have crushes on all the girls just to cover up the fact that I was gay. So I guess the last crush that I'm going to share with you guys is actually someone that I had a crush on ever since middle school when I got to middle school. And once again, he was kind of more of a masculine person, so it was something that I was more attracted to. His name was Gary, but he went by Buddy, and he had a sister, Kelly, who I once again kind of became close with because I had a crush on him and couldn't really tell. But it's weird because I'd always try to push my female friends to like have crushes on the guys that I had crushes on just because I wanted to be able to talk to them about these guys and it not be weird. It's just kind of a weird situation. I think there were several times where I accidentally slipped up and I was like, yeah, he's kind of attractive. Or I know there was one time where I was in college and this was before I came out and a really attractive rugby player walked by me and I was sitting there with my friend Kelly and I was like, oh, look at him, he's cute. And I was just like, oh no. For you, I mean, not for me. I don't think he's cute. I'm just pointing him out because, you know, that's... <laughs> I was trying to find someone for you and I was just like, oh my gosh, what was I doing? But thankfully, I'm out and I can talk about stuff like this now. Thankfully, I'm in a happy, committed relationship, so I don't have to look anymore. <laughs> but 
I feel like a lot of gay people that are in the closet in high school develop these high school crushes on people, so I figured I'd make a video about it and talk about it since it's extremely awkward, and I figured this would be a great place for you guys to share some of your crushes as well. So if you have any crush stories from high school, feel free to drop them in the comment section below. I'd love to hear your stories. I'll comment back for sure. So since I was sharing all of their embarrassing high school pictures, I figured I'd also drop mine right here for you guys to check out. I know the long hair, it's crazy, but it was, I guess, kind of like my, I guess it was kind of like my mask to kind of hide who I was. I wanted to kind of fit in with the other guys and a lot of the guys were wearing their hair long. Granted, not a lot of guys I had crushes on had hair like that and mine was kind of curly and messy and gross. But I figured I'd share that one with you guys as well. And if you haven't already, make sure you checked out all my other social medias. I'll leave the links down below and I will talk to you guys next time. Bye.